Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Poonam Shah. I almost said Poonam Kapoor. And then <laughs> Kapoor. Pri Priyanka, Kapoor. Priyanka Shah. And Priyanka Kapoor. And then uh, we're going to look at <laughs> Nasbandis and Condoms, stand up comedy by Saurabh Pant. And I, uh, apparently, it's Pant, according to this one over here. Oh, no, I have no idea. That's like, what she I, said. I, She's I, like, I'm bidding a million dollars. I did not say that. She was I committed said, to it. Pant, I said that. Pant, I've never heard, like, we've never heard the Indian, like, last name Pant before. I don't so. think that. Pant, yeah, I don't think Pant, I've ever heard Pant. that. It's probably Pant. Pant. It's Pant. It's Pant. Pant. And the accent, it sounds cooler. Soda Pant. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how I should be saying it. Thank you, Saurabh, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. It's been a minute since I've watched one of your comedies. So let's check this out. I'm very vulgar. <laughs> Nobody should watch it. I made a lot of fun of, uh, of India, but I'm, I'm, I'm a proud Indian man. I'm a proud Indian. Uh, I am. And Indians, we should be proud. We should be proud. We are, we are a great nation and we have some great things to be proud of. One thing which we should be that proud of is India. <laughs> we are about to overtake China as the world's most populated country. Yeah! 1.4 billion people. Holy shit! Celebrating that great Indian sport of doing it! <laughs> we love doing it everywhere, like doing it, doing it, doing it. Dandiyaras, Dandiyaras. Dude, 1.4 billion people, holy shit, that's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people. And most of the problems stem from this. The reason why we don't have enough seats in universities is we create babies. The reason why we are starved for resources is we create babies. But nobody wants to do anything about it. You ask any Indian politician about the Indian population, they always say the same thing. Our population is our greatest strength. <laughs> <laughs> Which is their way of saying, we don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the big reason, the two reasons why the population in India keeps incre increasing unabated, because nobody cares about it. The one reason is political. Right, because what political parties in India, what they do when a new child is born, they don't see this head, hey, one more person I have to take care of. They see vote bank. Wow. Like, hey, bhai, nikla, hai, chan. <laughs> wow. This is great. Bhai, we are BJP, you did cesarean, nah, we did surgical, same, come on, man, let's go. And I was really proud of the surgical strike, but again, it's not the BJP, it's the Indian Army. Uh, and again, the same applies for the Congress. When a new baby is born, Congress is like, hey, bacha nikla. Hamara bhi usi wajah se chalte rehta hai. Bacha nikla, fir bacha nikla, fir bacha nikla, fir bacha nikla, bacha nikla, bacha nikla. Hamara chalta hai aisa. The second reason is, of course, religious, right? There's a competition happening between Hindus and Muslims to create more babies. Okay. The Muslim population in India increases at 2.4% per annum. The Hindu population increases at 1.7%. It is not a contest. <laughs> the logic is flawed. It's like, you Sunil, ko jan diya, main ko dunga. This makes no sense. <laughs> you don't need to create six babies. Create one good one. That's yes. it. <laughs> yes. Like my parents did. <laughs> I'm talking about my sister. Um, <laughs> That's good. That was good. No, no, they keep competing. My religion keeps competing. And it's not religion itself. It's like all these like misguided godmen of religion. Like last year what happened was there was a Malvi who went out there and said Muslim ladies should create five babies to compete with Hindus. So when Sadhu came, like Hindu ladies should create six babies. I'm like, bhai, uska uterus hai. <laughs> ATM machine nahi hai. <laughs> <laughs> like you put, like, it makes no sense. You don't just put in a sign about six, seven, five, four. Are you? Nickel gang. That's not my pin code. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> and on the opposite end of the spectrum, the opposite end of the spectrum is Japan. Japan is running out of people. Oh, wow. They're wow. Yeah. Dude, Indians, we should help them out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because when we see Japan, we're like, yeah, sex can run the other guy. That's so ironic. But we should help them out. They're part of Asia. We should help them out. We should send them 20 Indians. <laughs> As a sample. Just send... As a sample. <laughs> Teach them Japanese, whatever. Send 20 Indians. Send it on the basis of our demographics. Like 16 Hindus, 3 Muslims, and one guy who's a Sikh and a Christian. Great. Oh my God. <laughs> Parvinda D'Souza. It'll be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
But we need to clamp down, dude. China had the one-child policy, which is crazy, but they had the one-child policy, right? And I think we need to do similar thing in India. We need a two-child policy. If you have more than two kids, you get fined. Because I have two kids. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, but the reason why nobody cares about population is that uh, there's no communication whatsoever about family planning in India. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. And because there's no, there's no modern uh, communication, right? Like, like, okay, vasectomy sounds chill. Vasectomy is like, hey, we'll go for a picnic and vasectomy and chill. <laughs> Nasbandi just sounds scary as shit! <laughs> like, Nasbandi is like, like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to Scary word! And the reason we are scared of Nasbandi as Indians is because of the 1970s, where Sanjay Gandhi, Indra Gandhi's son, what he did was that he went around India and he just did forced vasectomies all across India, where he's like, cutle, 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 itara, cutle, 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 itara, cutle, 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 like a bus conductor, cutle, cutle. <laughs> no, but if you're a doctor, you guys are planning to be doctors, right? Like right now, you have your own challenges. But back then in the 70s, doctors had another challenge. Government doctors in the 70s during this period were told that you need to convince two people per month to go out there and get a vasectomy done, and if you don't, your salary gets cut. Wow. It's such a complicated thing. Just a guy over there like, bhai, ya to tera katne wala hai ya mera, tu decide kar. Wow. <laughs> but vasectomies are more advanced than they were in the past, man. Vasectomies are more advanced than they were. Like, uh, like now it's like you can go to the doctor and like it's a reversible process. You can go on Tuesday and say, bhai, you're retired. And come back on Thursday like, you're Shahid Afridi. Boom, boom, like just done. <laughs> And, and condoms, condoms don't reach the, uh, the right number of people in India, man. 65% of Indians apparently don't know what a condom is. Nobody <laughs> communicates that condoms are supposed to be family planning. They're supposed to be communicating family planning. In India, it's like, it's all about sex. And Indians are very prudish people. Mm -hmm. We're like, we do sex. Karte hai. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no, condoms, condoms, man. Condoms keep talking about sex all the time. They don't talk about family planning, right? Like, every condom ad in India is always sunny and you go like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate khao <laughs> gai. <laughs> and then he's like, chocolate nahi, diabetes ho gaya nahi, achi nahi chahiye, nahi chahiye, nahi chahiye, nahi chahiye. Condoms should try and make them sound uh, like, uh, uh, like approachable to people. What they did was that last year, Diorex basically launched a condom uh, which was, this is all true, which is Sabu Dana flavor condom. Uh, what? <laughs> Who uses this? <laughs> what husband and wife have this conversation in the morning where the wife is like, haa, pati dev, nashte mein kya hai? And he's like, <laughs> Chop it up, it's poha. Yuck, too. Heck, do Dude, we need somebody, we need to, like, to communicate the fact that condoms are supposed to be about utility, right? We need somebody to endorse condoms who's not sexy per se, but convinces us that this is required. We need ads featuring Irfan Khan. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just Irfan Khan, something like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Cisco LED condom is all gone. Jindi ki bhar chalega. Bati on, bati off. Wee, wee, wee. Anyway, guys, you've been an absolutely lovely audience tonight, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Holy shit. Woo! Okay. Hilarious. All yeah, right. He was funny. I, you thought he was funny? Yeah. yeah. I was because I was like, I glanced over because I thought something he said was funny. I glanced over at the monitor and you just had like this like stoic, studied face on you. <laughs> like, oh, no, no. is she not having fun? I, I just I don't show emotion. Okay. He had a lot of like interesting points. I didn't even know half those things. And yeah, Indians. I just had no idea. You know, it's so crazy. Indians are very like prudish towards like the topic of sex, but like literally. India has like the highest population, so Maybe I. Maybe that's why. I don't know just, what's going on. Yeah, like nobody talks about it. Like, There's a direct link they, there. They, I don't think. Yeah. I, I'm not even sure they have like you know how we have like sex ed in school. I'm not sure they have. No, that. They, we don't. They. I don't think they do. Or maybe they do now. Yeah. It's probably taboo, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's very a taboo, taboo subject. Very taboo in every family. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I find it very ironic because in Japan they're very. 
As far as my understanding goes, they're more liberal when it comes to intimacy like that, mm -hmm. sex and whatnot. It goes both ways, right? right? Because like if you look at Indian films, on average, it's harder to find a sexual scene in an Indian film. Whereas in Japan, it's more liberal in the cinemas or in their well, gra graphic novels and whatever. Yeah. It's way more explicit. Like I was, I was going through uh, Dragon Ball Z recently, mm -hmm. and the sexual references throughout the show, I was astounded because, <laughs> yeah. uh, or I found it astounding because it's a kids show. Whereas in India, that would not fly. I think older. Bollywood movies, it was like so taboo, but then like now, like Indian movies, like you know, it's, it's not a big deal. More open. It's yeah, not more it's open. more open, but yeah. it's not, Way more. it's not a, a nearly mm -hmm. as open as Japan. Not as much as Japan. The reason I'm saying that is because it's just it's, a, it's fascinating that Japan's population is going down compared to India. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's been no that's idea. been known for a while. Part of the reason why is because Japan is very ethnocentric when it comes to marriage and whatnot, um. is, is my understanding, especially the country itself. They're not really about bringing people in, um. so they're not really expanding. It's all about like all like centered by water so it's like where would the people even come from right well maybe people could come in but they don't really want they're more strict than Canada let's put it that way add to the fact that you've got these kids who are living at home longer and they're I, from my understanding this is very cursory but like the kids are living at home longer and they are allowed to stay immature you know not fully grow up uh... longer than they do in I guess India Hmm. I don't know. Have you seen uh, Anurag Kashyap's Sacred, Game Game. Sacred Games? Yes. So that is extremely, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff, content like that out there now. Even the one movie we were in, like, you know, it, yeah, they didn't show him, like, it's super intimate, but, like, it... Uh, Sacred Games was pretty explicit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they showed full frontal and everything in that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So. so, like, I think, like, everyone's getting used to it, but, yeah, India does definitely have, like, a population issue. There were people who took issue with Netflix's Sacred Games, though. There was some pushback on it because people didn't like how explicit it was, how violent yeah. it was, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it was a lot. It was it, much, it was a lot, yeah. But I will say it was very well done, and I very think well done, India's yeah. population is more getting warmed up to that, that kind of content more. People avoid that conversation, and then that's what balloons the population because people don't, are not educated on what it is to be family yeah. planning, which is what he's right, talking about. Right. Yeah. And I mean, that's important. Wear a condom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it stems from education, and then it's also like, um, uh, enforcement Rebelling. is really, really hard in India. Enforcement is still hard in India. Like, even, like, you know how he was saying, like, um, like, Rahul Gandhi tried to do it. Like, it's, like, very difficult to enforce things in India. Hmm. So I think that if the enforcement gets stricter and if there's the education, yeah. then it'll change. Yeah, I mean, it's a tricky thing, right? I've heard there's this statistic that if a uh, couple is more educated, mm. they are likely to have fewer children. Mm. Just like in general, like you get, yeah. they're both college graduates, etc., and they're very, very, you know, in, uh, educated and whatnot. They're likely to have one to two kids, right. maybe yeah. three. Whereas if they're not educated, and this happens all the time in the States, yeah. they're having like five, six kids, like a lot right. of kids. No, yeah, I think like um, most of the problems in India stem from illiteracy. Being uneducated is like where everyone's problems stem from, like whether it's like Africa, whether it's like India, it could be like any country. You know, it's so crazy though, because like Indians are so smart, but that's because those are the Indians that are given access to education. It's this Indian stereotype, right? Indians are smart. There's like the whole other half that isn't. If they were given access to education, India would be so different. People, I think, exist in extremes. You need to watch Super 30. Oh yeah, you gotta I need to watch, watch it. You gotta watch, watch Super it. 30. Yeah. Like Super 30 is such a good movie. I loved it. But I've anyway. heard great things. I heard yeah. that yeah. the Groshan yeah. killed it. But anyway, uh, this was cool and it was informative. This is what I like about Sorab in general. Like he's, uh, to me, he's really funny. Yeah, he's, he's funny. funny. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> you have no idea the look she had on her face. Like you and I are laughing. She's like, "What?" I think, I think she just needs some. I, I think I think it's like the ha ha's are happening in her head. No, no, no. that happens. Uh, guys, to me sometimes. I was laughing. You guys need to play it back. I, I, was, I was laughing on the inside. I was laughing on the. On the outside and the inside. Okay, all right. <laughs> like, haha ha, and haha. Ha. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, thank you, Sarab, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. Be sure to check out Poonam and Priyanka on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I am Jabby Koi. This is... Poonam. That's her right there. <laughs> Priyanka. <laughs> Peace out.